Uh, what kind of salary you may expect? What kind of jobs will be open for other people? What kind of tools I should know to be good at these kind of jobs? If you were to advise people on SOP, LOR, and CV also, what kind of advice do you want to give to them? Okay, so I'm in Freiburg right now. I'm here with, what's your name? Hari. Hari, what are you studying? Uh, I'm doing my master's in metallic materials technology. And what was your bachelor's? Mechanical engineering. How much was your score? Eight. Like, did you do your own application or you went through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it by myself. Okay. Yeah. How many applications did you file before coming to Germany? So, uh, I applied to th uh, three universities. Okay. Uh, one is uh, TU Freiburg, which is metallic materials technology. And then in TU Dresden, I applied to computational modeling and simulations. And then in uh, Kiel, I applied to electric power propulsion and control. Okay. Very different to what other mechanical students are go have going. I've seen like people are kind of studying mechanical. They either go into industrial engineering or I've seen them going into core mechanics as well mm -hmm. but your interests are very different what are your career aspirations after you complete this master's program so basically after completing my bachelor's itself i was working in pune in an automotive company for almost a year so my interest is always towards automobiles the thing is my thought process was like when i completed my bachelor's i was able to understand few components and able to understand how bad they'll fail like, mm -hmm. But I was not, not able to clearly pictureize why they are failing at that particular point. So I thought, okay, maybe to understand that, I need a more atomic level understanding of things. So I, I thought, okay, maybe material science is a good thing. And when I looked into the dad websites, I searched for many universities and I there were several universities of offering material science. But the module in Freiburg was very good, actually. Mm -hmm. So I finally chose to apply here. And what are the specializations in your master's? You will have four different tracks to choose. The first semester will be common, but then after finishing your first semester, can choose in choose your specialization there are four different things metal forming steel processing non-ferrous metallurgy okay just a quick question around salary a little bit what kind of salary you may expect from the industry after finishing masters i have no idea you have no idea yeah, right but now. Uh, from what i've talked with seniors yeah. uh, almost everybody is earning around three thousand to four thousand are uh, in hand in hand yeah. that means the gross salary is somewhere around six thousand six thousand five hundred yeah, euros per month right 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 so pay is good yeah, is what good, i would say yeah, yeah. and future is great in the of course, of course, like especially in Saxony or the state which we are currently yeah. in, this is filled with industries, especially the steel processing ones, metal forming ones. When you want to go into core automotive, you can move to Bavaria, Baden Württemberg, etc. True, true. But Saxony is too good for this uh, material kind of things. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about other than your area of interest, what kind of jobs will be open for other people? You could uh, probably go to some uh, core automotive companies like Audi, BMW, or Porsche. My seniors are current. What? You can, that is a, a very broad area to go into. Like for example, if you want to go into plant, you can go into supply chain, material procurement. Or if you want to go into R&D, you can do become a simulation engineer. What kind of tools I should know to be good at these kind of jobs for you to get hired tomorrow, mm -hmm. right? So uh, the tool knowledge depends on what job description it uh, you're trying to go, go into. So basically, if you want to go into numerical simulations, I would suggest you to learn ANSYS, ABACUS. That is tool knowledge. But on the back end, it, it would also be good for you to learn some coding, like maybe Python or maybe some awk and bash scriptings would also help. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. So uh, that gives me a fair understanding of what kind of jobs people may get. Mm -hmm. How is this course like? Are you happy with the course? I'm very happy with the course. Yeah. Because it's not too intensive as well. It's not too simple as well. You have to put in an effort which is apt. And the way uh, the course is uh, designed, right, it's very helpful for me because I'm able to choose a specialization. In no other courses, I'm allowed to do that. I don't have a course which is designed to for me to choose a specialization. And moreover, I'm also getting a compulsory internship. So to find an internship, in Germany, you basically have two categories, whether it is a mandatory internship or it is an optional one. So if, if you are applying to a company saying that it is optional for you, the chances are little less compared to mandatory mm. internship. You said you file your own applications mm -hmm. for yeah. German universities. Yeah. If you were to advise people on SOP, LOR and CV also, what kind of advice do you want to give to them? I would say put the maximum weightage to the SOP. I took almost 20 days to design my own SOP. Wow. And don't go for uh, any online uh, templates. Mm. I would say because plagiarism here in Germany is a very yeah. serious. So once you get, once the plagiarism software here is also very good, even for the smallest assignments which we are submitting, it is being put into those plagiarism softwares and checked. If suppose you get caught by that you copied your SOP or something, no matter how good your profile is, you will be directly rejected. Mm. 
All right. What message do you want to give to those people who are watching us right now? I think everyone might be saying this, but without saying it goes German language. And other than that, uh, talking about work experience, maybe you might get admitted with or without work experience. But for getting a job, it might give you a leading edge if you have a little bit of work experience. Right. So maybe try working for at least a year. Okay. All right, so with that being said, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and make sure that you check the description of this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.